Hi, I'm Roy Robertson. This is Good Business San Diego. This morning, we welcome back Jim Battrell. He's a former U.S. Marine and the founder of the Jim Battrell Real Estate Team with EXP Realty. Reach Jim at 1-833-600-SOLD, and Jim has the buyers.com. Last time you were here, Jim, we were talking about uh, the real estate market stabilizing, actually trending up a little bit. Still the same case? Yeah, after a 22% decline from our highs last June, uh, we have seen a market that has stabilized, and we're seeing prices actually increase a little bit. In fact, we've seen prices increase 3% since January 1. And there's two basic reasons for this. The first one is that interest rates stopped skyrocketing, thank God. Yeah. And the second one is we have a shortage of houses for sale. And that is just going to be that way for the next decade. So it's something that we're going to have to get used to. Okay, I saw a recent report, foreclosures are up 18%. Yeah. Uh, is this relevant? Is it meaningful? Is it an opportunity for a buyer to get a foreclosure? No, it's somebody trying to get somebody to read and to click on their articles <laughs> okay. is what it is. So, yeah, 18% increase in foreclosures, catchy headline, a lot of people are going to read it. Much more so than if they had a headline of saying that foreclosures went from 10 homes to 12 homes. All right, okay. All right in, a, in a market where there's a million homes. Um, there are virtually no foreclosures, and there's just not going to be. The few foreclosures we've seen so far is usually related with somebody who's passed away. Maybe there were no heirs, or maybe they had a reverse mortgage where the mortgage balance goes up, but then the prices came down and there's no equity there, so there's no reason for the family to fight over it. For those buyers out there that are thinking, I'm going to wait for the bottom of the market and then I'm going to buy myself a foreclosure, I'm going to tell you the plan's not going to work. Mm. Because the banks are not, for those very few foreclosures, the banks are not going to put those houses on the open market. They had all they can take of that from 2008 to 2012. Sure. They're not selling them retail, they're not going to deal with the property, they're not going to deal with the, the consumer. They're not going to deal with the real estate agents. Right? What they're going to do is they're going to sell them off market to one of these giant investment companies like BlackRock, those, those companies that exist today that didn't exist back then. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to see those on the market at all? No. Okay. Uh, so in this market cycle, so when is the best time or is there such a thing as the best time to buy? Yeah, right now. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, you never time the market. All right, just right. don't ever time the market. It's a terrible idea. It's not going to work. Um, for There are a ton of buyers out there right now that are all thinking, hey, I'm going to wait for the bottom of the market to buy. And I'm going to tell you, I've got a question for them. How are you going to know when the bottom of the market is? Right. Are, are you actually planning on using the statistics that are out there? Uh, because waiting for statistics to call the bottom will guarantee the way that you miss the bottom. Um, let's go ahead and talk about statistics for a second. What are they? They are historical data. Mm -hmm. All right. They are the past that's whatever happened. So uh, real quick, what was the, let's, let's go ahead and put the nail in the coffin on, on statistics. What was the big story in, in all the newspapers last month in March of 2023? Statistically, you were talking about it was the end of price increases. Yeah, the 131 month straight continuous streak of housing prices going up. It was yeah. the breaking of that, housing prices now going down. That was March of 2023, but what really happened is the houses started going down in July of 2022. So it took nine months, and everybody knew prices were going down, but the statistics took nine months. So if you miss the bottom of this market by nine months, how much does that cost? Well, all we have to do is go back to 2012. In the first nine months of the recovery of that market, prices went up 8%. So you're going to miss that bottom if you sit there and try and right. you know, stick to the statistics. So you know, I always say this. You don't wait to buy real estate. You buy real estate and then you wait. Yeah, yeah. you can't time the market. You can't do it with stocks and you can't do it with real just, estate. Just own it. Just okay, own it. Great. All right. Uh, for a consultation, uh, to talk to Jim directly, 1-833-600-SOLD. He'll give you a full market breakdown. A uh, very informative guy. It'll be a great conversation for you. 1-833-600-SOLD. You can also go to his website, which is jimhasthebuyers.com.